He was something special. He was a, a personality that, that can't be replaced and um, that uh, you fully realize, you don't fully realize, but you realize more um, what it meant um, to have that type of personality. I'm just thinking about spring training next year and how I'm not going to have an opportunity to yell at him for something stupid. Uh, you know, because he liked to have fun and he'd field the ground balls during PFPs and he'd do it with flash. And, you know, I'd just be sitting there and be like, Jose, can we please just do it right one time and then go back to having as much fun as you want? And I'm going to miss that, you know, and, and he knew, he knew how to get under my skin. He knew what it took. On me, when Conley was throwing the no hitter in, in uh, Milwaukee and uh, I said, uh, I said, how many? He says, I said, I can't let him go and throw 140 pitch, 30 pitches. He goes, you, you, you not take, you would not take me out of the game. I said, oh yeah, I would. I said, I got your career to worry about. I go, how many would you want to throw? He goes, well, however many it takes. <laughs> he was just like, I'll do, I'll throw. I don't care. And then when they took the the Dodgers the other day, took the guy out with the perfect game. He goes, I would go sit on the mound, and you would, you would not take, you're not taking. I'm gonna go sit on the mound. You're not taking me out. And you know what? He probably would. He was the ultimate competitor. You know, he wanted that ball more than anybody I've ever seen, and that's what made him special, not only to this franchise, to his teammates. He wanted to be out there more than anybody, and that uh, his his love of the game was uh, second to none. And uh, as a young person, he could take some direction too if he didn't do it the right way the he first did. time. Early on, I remember watching him. Uh, he was at the. Uh, he, he's obviously a superstar, so he's right. on camera all the time. His rookie year, and he's sitting in the dugout, and he had his hat kind of on the top of his head and sideways. And I'm like, some of the clubhouse the next day, I'm like, Hosey, man, the camera's on you all the time. Right. That does not look right when you're sitting there as a rookie with the hat on top of your head sideways. Either take it off or put it on the right way. This is coming from an old school guy that I think the uniform should be a uniform. Right. And sure enough, the next day he had that hat pulled on straight and tight. <laughs> and I had to remind him one other time about a month later, but uh, he kept it on that way for a long yeah. time. And because he respected the game and he respected yes. the guys that came before him. Thanks.